do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Drew So we, we back, back with another big body bang. Listen. Now, <laughs> today we have something very sad. Just reading the title, I'm already mad. And it just infuriates me that this actually happened to this man. Right? So the title reads Disabled Veteran Catches His Wife Cheating on Him in the Act. That's messed up. That is very messed up. You know I'm not disabled. It's not even that he disabled. Why oh yeah, it's messed up, period. But that make it even worse. <laughs> you talking about you know he's disabled. That makes okay, it boom, even right worse. now. Quick question. Hard question, right? Be a completely honest. God forbid. Actually, I'm not gonna use myself as an example. Imagine you date somebody, right? You love him so freaking much. Both his legs I get chopped off. Now he a little walking around. You feel me? Why you do that? I'm just saying. Are you leaving him or are you staying? Damn. It's okay. No, I said this in an earlier video. Somebody come up to me in a wheelchair, like already disabled. I'm dubbing it. But if my husband something happened, like even if my husband was to go cross eyed, we, I would have to make fun of him. You but it was, <laughs> wait, you talk about cross eyed, like cross eyed, like is anything. Like some people, some people like for real. You can get a car accident, go cross eyed. You know. You can go cross out after we already together. What if I'm paralyzed? Oh, no, not me. I mean, God forbid. What if, what if somebody is paralyzed from the neck down? That would be hard, but. You go leave them at their lowest point? Husband? Yeah. Yeah, it's my husband. You go stay? If it's your husband, if it's your husband, I feel like it's unconditional love. Okay. So why would you being paralyzed make me leave? But if we newly married. What you mean? It's still your husband. It's not no newly married. Cause y'all still been dating for a good amount of time. So you in love with this person because you married. But we newly him. married. I can't even have kids. Nothing. So and what you gonna do? Life. Leave? I got to. <laughs> what? If it's a newly husband, he just go paralyzed from the neck down. That's see. That's so horrible. I wouldn't tell him I'm leaving him because he paralyzed. But I would he would know him. right after you got paralyzed, you leaving him. That's why you left him. You said you're gonna make up something? This is Destiny with the toxicity. This is too early in the morning for Destiny's toxicity right now. Listen, y'all, I, I personally toxic. would stay around, right? Destiny is actually not toxic at all, but she you just lying. be thinking some stupid stuff. But, um, sorry, not no stupid stuff, some mean stuff, I should say. But listen, say that's not mean. It's not. Okay, let's say you got paralyzed, that's right? Realistic. Sorry, God forbid. You got paralyzed from the neck down, and I just leave you two days later. I make up something like, ah. I didn't say two days later. It was just gradually, like. <laughs> gradually? Just... Yeah, I would probably stick around for like a year, take care of you, but like, after that. <laughs> Give you a good send off? Send off? Yeah. So if that happened to you, how would you feel? Understanding. <laughs> That's okay. <so bad. laughs> That's okay. <so bad. laughs> Let me know what the heck y'all would do in the comments down below. But this video is this, this disabled veteran. He was awake, you know what I'm saying? He comes back, catches his wife cheating that. That's crazy to me. Any, any army person, I feel like I hear a lot of stories like that, though. Where the army people's away and their people's cheating on them. That's always what happened. Why yeah. y'all be cheating on y'all people's when they away? They over there doing, serving the country. You over here That's getting your cheeks clapped. That's when dudes be getting locked up. And they think they baby mama holding down all the time. They baby mama be in the streets. Yeah. Like, what? Like... Be honest with me. When I go on Jet Black, bro, it's not finna work. I'm finna go get my cheeks clapped literally right after this. Just tell me. Not that I don't want to be inside the prison cell talking about something. My baby out there just waiting for me. He's fighting for our country. Oh, you over here knocking my stuff down. And you cheating. Got stuff all over my stuff, man. Let's go, bro. Go watch them all. I finished the intro. But listen, y'all. <laughs> We finna get into this before we do, y'all know what we gotta do. Drew and I kind of sound like two third room bellas. This is the new design right here, you know what I'm saying? Destiny help with this design. So if you wanna buy it, buy it. I'll give Destiny some of the money. That's cap. Yeah! But, I said that's cap. But, um, yeah, I just released these, so y'all gonna wanna cop down now for the y'all sell out. I got another design that just came out too. It's called the Not a Waiver. You know what I'm saying? That's for all my people that's not waivers. This one says work in progress because we all just a work in progress, whether it be waves, whether it be getting our money up, not our funny up, you know what I'm saying? Just Get your money up, not your funny up. You word. You don't say it right. You say Jew word. It's you word. You heard. Okay, let's go. Ready, set, start. I'm from up there. Here's I'm from down now. What the hell are you doing? 
What is going on, guys? It was a black so man, and he jumped out the window. In the act like they deserve. Today's clips are really sad. I'm gonna just brace you guys because it is. It blew my mind when I saw half of these. But today's shout out winner goes to William Colburn. Thank you for commenting, man. But well, let's just jump into this first one, which is freaking crazy. Basically, oh, it's a compilation. I guess the one. Oh, this her. No, this is a comp. I guess it's a bunch of different. She's a call caption. Um, type I does not trust his girlfriend at all. I don't think she's cheated yet. I'm not sure. When she's going to Atlanta for some reason regarding her aunt's health or something like nah, that. Nah, she clearly looks like she's about to go do something else. He caught her with messages. He caught her with other things, and he just does not trust her. And her excuse is, "We've been together for one year, and you still don't trust me." Like that is probably the worst excuse I've ever heard in my life. Say, hey, if you don't trust me, just say. No, I don't trust you. No. Why? Why? Because you're going to Atlanta. Do you trust me? We've been together for about a year. So if I say I'm going to Atlanta by myself. No, let's say I'm going to Miami by myself. Do you trust me? Right now? Yeah. Because you what? <laughs> Just do you trust me? I can go? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. On some last minute talking about your aunties. It don't make no what sense to me. This this ain't adding up. Two plus two ain't equal to four. She Latina. Social media. Social media. It's common sense too. Because you got your red bottom in there, you said you might do a video shoot. But well, you're going down there to see your aunt, and then now you might do a video shoot. She got red bottom. All right, man. Let's see. When he said photo shoot or something, guys, I have no idea what she's doing behind the scenes. If it's what I think it is, then he's 100% right. She belongs right to the streets. I just hope it's not the kind of photo shoot. If it is, oh my god. Right the streets. Just go. You, 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 you for the, go, go. You for the streets. Just get out. Go. I'm not stupid. I'm not. She's for the streets. And don't come back. Don't come back. No. Nope. You belong nope. to the streets. Yep. Peace. I'm um, peace. Why is he recording I'm that? Boo -boo I must got boo with a poo written on my forehead. Right. Now, this next clip, it's the one I was talking about in the thumbnail and in the title, which is so sad. Like, I, this is the worst clip I've ever seen in my life regarding cheating. This man comes back from the military, from the army, to come home to his wife. He is, I, I think, disabled. I don't know, maybe he had something happened to him while he was out there. He opens the door with his family around him to see the reaction. When with the family there, too, bro? You know how embarrassing that is, bro? Man, I couldn't do it. I, I would I would have to air the whole club out for it. They're probably mm -hmm. off myself for real. But no, I'm not off myself. I'm just gonna start clapping every girl I forget. Yeah, when he, he sees his wife, and it turns out she was literally in, in the act of cheating with another guy, and he immediately broke down, he just falls off the wheelchair and he starts crying. Like I said, one of the worst and saddest clips I've ever seen with regarding someone cheating. The I guy she's cheating ugly. with jumps out the window, and I guess this guy's family starts cursing out this woman, saying, How could you do this to my son? Just please watch, it blew my mind. Well, they just did a two-year tour in Afghanistan. How you feeling, bud? Two years. I don't want to say anything, but look how happy he is. He's like, I just want to see my wife. He just wants to get home. And then he just has to open the door to this. What the hell are you doing? Oh, and she ugly. Oh, and she ugly. I can't even see her face. And where did they live at? Oh, they live in a dorm. Yeah. <laughs> it's a college dorm and she can't clap by a random black dude that just jumped five stories down the, down the window, out the window. You hurt my son like that? I, I don't even know him. Fuck him out of here. You don't know him with your drawers down on the floor, you true Shiana. You thought Tiana. Would you hear me? Yo, what is going And why is her pants on the floor like that? They just sit next yeah. to each other with their pants down? Here. She was getting clapped. That's why her pants was down there. You ain't hear the clapping noise when they first open the door? Listen, listen, I'm I'm keen to hear clapping noises, you know what I'm saying? You heard that right there? That was the final thrust. And he what? jumped out of the window. Go. I'm telling you, that was the final thrust right there. What the hell are you doing? You hurt my son like that? I don't even know the fuck up out of here. Nobody wants you here. That's you the best excuse you can come up with. I didn't even know. Come back here. I don't even know him. That's the best you could come That's up with. That's the best you could have came up with. Like, honestly, you could have said anything like. And he knew that she I had a husband. Know. That's why he jumped out the door. Out the window. <sighs> I don't know. I don't even know. You got your boy out the window. You my husband. Just go ahead and Don't want you here. You 
you done ruined our family, you oh, tramp. Oh. <laughs> What's she call her? You tramp. <laughs> Not the tramp. <laughs> Now this next one broke my heart a lot. But that's so sad, bro. Like the man can't even like, the man cannot stand that, bro. He just fell to the floor. That was, I just said a bad joke. That was not nice. I don't, that was mean. No, he can't stand. I said he can't even stand it. Like he can't. It's, it's not fun. Ah, uh, because this guy was gonna get married to this woman in two weeks, you guys. Two weeks. I guess he was going over her drawers and stuff, and he saw something sticking out, and you guys can pretty much see it in the picture. And I guess he doesn't belong drawer? to him, and he knows that. When he started to question her about it on the phone, she doesn't give him a real answer, and she looks like she's trying to avoid the entire thing. He starts saying, why are you home this early? Why are you here? He's like, bro, I live here. Like, what the hell? We were about to get married in two weeks. I'm just happy he found him before they actually got married, because this girl is mad and faithful, and I hope he finds something better for himself. Yeah. I come home two days early to this, bro. All in the jewel. We get married in two, we probably get married in two weeks. Okay. You have more Man. than Man. It's a good thing she caught the, he caught the girl before they got married. Right. Cause she would have ran off with the money. That would have been even worse. That would have been horrible. That would have been horrible. Horrible. That would have been horrible. Oh, I ain't, it's muted, my fault. You're supposed to get married in two weeks. Go ahead, every minute. Wherever you at? You at home? Where, where? I'm, I'm at home right now, bro. Bro, what's this in your jewelry? What's this, what's this in your jewelry? Bro, quit playing me like you. Bro, I'm not stupid, bro. What's up? What, what, what we doing? Why are you popping up today early? Like, why are you? Home? Bro, what you mean popping up? I live here, bro. We get married in two weeks. What you mean popping up? It don't matter when I'm supposed to get off, bro. I'm. Oh my God, bro. You, bro. You, I'm about to go crazy. I'm really about to go crazy right now, bro. Where you at? Now this next one is. Yeah, she ain't shot. I'm gonna have to call you back. <laughs> I'm gonna have to call you back. You're gonna be calling Jesus in a second. So blurry. I apologize for it, but I wanted to still put it in the list because I really feel bad for this guy. Basically, I think he's in college. He, his girlfriend's trying to break up with him, or he caught her cheating or something like that. And he's basically confronting her about it, and she's not giving him a legit answer. He was literally about to cry. Like, it looks like he's literally crying in the video, and his friends are all surrounding him, trying to support him as much as possible. At the end, the girl decides to walk off and not answer any of his questions. And he decides to chase after her until his friends decide to hold him back and hug him. I was like, you ain't gonna do shit? And you saying that you gonna work shit out and you ain't, you're not gonna go out? And you go out fucking three days in a row? I hate you so much. I hate you so much. No, 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 no. Zay, no, 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 no
Wait a, a minute. Grinder account. If you guys know what a grinder account is, it's basically a Tinder account. Oh, oh. whoa! Tinder is for she guys. Opens the door I mean, grinder like, is for guys. I don't know. You actually the wrong person. You asking the wrong person. I hear this man's voice. I mean, I'm surprised she didn't realize he was gay. I mean, he's just giving obvious signs that he was, and then she, he's making horrible, horrible excuses. I'm like, yo, how is she falling for this? And then a part of me thought this was acting, but I still really wanted to include this because I've never saw a gay person cheat on someone before. So I, I just wanted to have it on my list so we could spice things up. Gay people always cheat. And I'm pretty sure I hear a guy in our house right now. Who the hell is that? Who the hell is that? I saw that you have a grinder account, and who is this? This is my cousin Dave. Uh, cousin since what? You never brought any cousins or family over in years, so who is this? Are you filming this? Yeah, I'm filming. Okay, this is fake. If this is real, ain't no way she ain't know the man was gay. Ain't no way. I, but it's gotta be fake. I, it's pretty, I'm pretty sure it's fake. A lot of girls I'm sick of this. I knew something was up, and you've been acting really weird and been gone all day. This is literally my cousin. This is not your cousin. Tell me she ain't no destiny. She might not. Shell! So cat. I've never seen you in my life. This is no, this is not okay, and I'm gonna expose you. This is sick. Gonna yeah, I'm gonna expose you. You're cheating on me, not only cheating on me, this with a guy. Cousin. You can at least tell me. You can at least tell me that you're feeling some type of <laughs> Tell me. I wouldn't they talk the you. same. But yeah, guys, I guess so. Man, oh man, you know what I'm saying? Which one was the worst? The disabled person? That's so sad though, like for real, man. For all the veterans out there, all the people in the army, if you go home and your girl cheating on you, just just know, man, stay strong, it gets better. You go find somebody better, man. If your girl cheating on you right now, if you just got at it, let me know in the comments down below. If y'all ever The been disabled person on? though, really a good person because he could have. <laughs> he could have what? Rolled on over there and just start minkering her up. Then what? Not with her coochie all out. <laughs> Probably stay. You know what I'm saying? That's the defense itself. I would have grabbed them pants and been yanking her ass around. You gonna do this to me? <laughs> <laughs> Let me know. Have y'all ever been cheated on in the comments down below? Well, have you knowingly you been, been cheated been on? Cheated on? No. Well, technically, nobody knows for sure if they ever been cheated on because people could have been cheated on, they would never know. You know what I'm saying? But uh, let me know, have y'all knowingly been cheated on? You know what I'm saying? How did it make you feel? What did it make you want to do? Did you stay with the person? Would you stay with the person they cheated on you? Did, you give, did they get one, like, chance? One pass? One get out of jail free card? Let me know in the comments down below. Before you dip out, man, comment yourself with Drew. I bought you a third free Bring up one Save yourself $50, mate. And that's really about it. I'm going to see y'all. Hey yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly Wings to the sky, no I'm never borderline They choose I, cause I'm way above you The waves make the haters love you When the ladies come through